Administration of teacher's boss, Randy Weingarten. It's a real piece of work. Uh, uh, and also AFT partner with the CDC, helping craft messaging and policy with respect to K-12 through education. It's wonderful. I think many people who saw teachers as glorified babysitters got a reality check this year when schooling had to be done at home, she tweeted. Teachers deserve respect and recognition for all the ways they help communities. Oh, please. Uh-huh. Got a, done with them. They are not heroes. They uh, got a taste of their own medicine. The people, you know, who thought didn't think properly of teachers. Yeah, thinking properly about K through 12 education. Let's have that discussion, Randy. Um, a good uh, post from our friend Mark Perry over at uh, Carpe Diem blog at American Enterprise Institute. He charted uh, changes in public school staff, pupils, and spending per pupil over the last 50 years, roughly, 1970 to 2018. The um, real spend per pupil is up 256%. The number of non-teaching staff is up 252%. The number of teachers is up 157%. The number of students, 111%. We've doubled students over the last 50 years, uh, but we've more than doubled, two and a half times teachers, and almost triple that with non-teaching staff, triple the student increase, with non-teaching staff and spend per pupil, because, of course, you have to pay the non-teaching staff and the teachers. Everything increasing at a pace that dwarfs the increase in the number of students. And oh, by the way, in most other industries, you achieve economies of scale at some point, right? The actual cost of providing the good or services declines over time. It doesn't outpace the number of customers, the increase in the number of customers over time. You know what I mean? Because that's not a model for success. That's a model for bankruptcy. For more on K-12 through education and other matters, economic, please be joined by Steve Moore, economist, Wall Street Journal columnist, author of Trumponomics. Steve, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hi, hi Dan. Hi, Amy. By the way, you guys get an A in economics today. Thank that's you very great. much. Um, you know, I, I think I gave you guys a B last week. So, uh, no, that's, that, you've got it exactly right. You know, uh, education is probably the only industry – maybe other than prostitution, that has not seen increased uh, productivity. Uh, and in education, there you've at, what, you, what you just described, those numbers, what those indicate is declining productivity. Declining productivity. Yes. You got to, you know, they're still, they, they've declined in productivity over the last 60 or 70 years. Incidentally, uh, related, I was just at Starbucks getting my mocha this morning. Uh, and, uh, My you know, the big thing that this, did you guys know this, this, this is teacher appreciation week? Yeah, I, I've heard. And I'm uh. going to, you know what, I'm going to sit this <laughs> one out no, no, and I'm no, never going to buy a teacher a gift ever again in my life. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of not fair to, to, to criticize all teachers because the fact that there are a lot of teachers. great teachers out there, a lot of great teachers. I mean, I, I think about, you know, my public education, there were four or five, uh, you know, teachers that had a profound impact on me. And so a, a great teacher is truly worth, worth their weight in gold. The problem is there's so many lousy teachers. And one other thing I wanted to add to what um, Dan just said, did you see in our hotline, we had an item about how um, basically what happened was the teachers unions wrote the CDC guidelines. Yeah, right. right. How is that, you know, that going to make the mainstream the media? Science? No. This is quite a this is quite a scandal, actually. The teachers union influenced the, and had the CDC rewrite their standards so they would not have to go back to work. Uh, that's right. And uh, I think the, the key phrase in those emails that were uncovered per a FOIA request was how the one functionary at the American Federation for Teachers, the union, described the relationship between AFT and CDC as a partnership. Oh, really? It's a partnership. <laughs> no, exactly. A partnership. Now, here's another statistic for you, uh, Dan, maybe, that, that, uh, that has been true for at least the last 30 years and more true today than ever before. 
In most cities, certainly including Chicago, you get a better education in the Catholic schools for half the cost. Let me say that again. You get a better education at half the cost. Mm-hmm. So why don't we just put every, you know, did you see what happened in Florida this week? Ron DeSantis passed and signed a bill that is the most sweeping school choice. And by the way, for um, for even if you're already sending your kids to a private school, they're going to actually give you a payment to help pay for the tuition uh, because it pays the public school money. If, if, you know, fewer kids go to the public school. Why can't that be the case everywhere in the United States? This is America. We should have freedom. We should have freedom of choice for parents. Yeah. And getting to in household incomes of uh, six figures, hundred thousand dollars in Florida. Now it's amazing. It's amazing what you can do without a state income tax on, on top of it. That's yep. remarkable. <laughs> exactly. If no income tax, they're giving better, better schools in Florida, which used to be a kind of backward state than, you know, than Illinois, which used to be, you know, one of the leading states. I mean, it's tragic. And, and the model is, look, freedom and freedom of choice work in every sing, single industry. And the only industries that we don't use it in is healthcare and education. And folks, so many times on the Dan and Amy show, I'll say it again. The two industries that have had the ma- most massive increases in inflation for the last 20, 30, 40 years have been education and health care. That's right. Uh, I wanted to get uh, your reaction to this story that comes to us from our friend Selena Zito over the Washington Examiner out of Pennsylvania, uh, which she still you know, focuses on. She's one of those Beltway reporters who actually focuses on things outside the Beltway, which is nice. And this is a story about crowding out private sector investment. U.S. Steel scrapping a $1.5 billion upgrade uh, to its facility in uh, Allegheny County, citing Mm -hmm. the delays, tug of war they had with Allegheny County Health Department, plus the new direction the company has taken to focus on sustainability because the new direction the country is taking under President Biden. Yeah, well, you know, factories aren't sustainable. You know, energy use is not sustainable. Uh, you know, productivity is not sustainable. I mean, this this sustainability measure is really, really scary. We get 80 percent of our energy folks today from fossil fuels. Uh, the the idea that somehow we're going to shut down our our factories and our oil and gas to to reduce climate change. The biggest lie of all this stuff is about sustainability is that China cares one whit about this stuff. Of course, China doesn't care about They care about taking over the world, folks. They don't care about uh, sustainability. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm disgusted by this. Did you see, by the way, there was a study in California that uh, 20 to 25 percent of people who bought electric vehicles traded them in to go back to old uh, gasoline um, <laughs> powered really? cars. And yeah. Because, you know, because they were saying the big problem that people are facing with with uh, with the battery cars. And by the way, I don't have anything against Tesla. I think, you know, I know a lot of people swear by them. But the problem is you can fill up your tank, as the, as the story said, you can fill up your tank in five minutes and you can go 300 miles with, you know, with a gas car. It takes you hours and hours to uh, to, uh, you know, to recharge your battery every night to go, you know, one tenth that amount. So. People are running out, basically running out of, you know, electric power in their cars while they're on the road and they get stranded. So uh, anyway, how we, my point is, how are we ever going to get uh, Biden under the fantasy that in the next 30 years, 25 years or so, well, everybody's going to have an electric car. Ninety eight percent of the cars on the road today are are, are not battery, are not battery cars. They are they take they're combustible engine cars. And even at the best, 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 best estimate, the most optimistic estimate, perhaps by the year 2040, half of the cars will be electric. And that's it. That's shooting for the moon there. So Dan, maybe, where are we going to get the, the oil to provide power for the other half of the cars on the road from Saudi Arabia? Well, we'll probably be relying on foreign oil once again. Of course. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not going to comply. I mean, it makes no sense. All right, it so- makes- no sense. Stephen Moore, I thought about you over the week. And when I read this article on Fox News, one of Biden's economic advisors is asking the world to increase their corporate tax minimum to counteract yeah. the what the you know what the U.S. is proposing. 
Yeah, you know, we, we used to be funny? the land of the free, but we used to be the country that, uh, you know, we, we were founded on a tax revolt, right? And now we've got, not only is the United States raising taxes, folks, under Biden, now we have Joe Biden going around the rest of the world and telling the, these countries to, and, and in some case, commanding them to raise their taxes. I mean, how stupid is that? By the way, you guys know, right, which country in the world has the lowest corporate tax rate? Ireland. Ireland, they're at 12 and a half percent. Twelve and a half percent. Do you think man. that they're going to try? They're going to go to thirty percent like us? Why would they do something no. stupid like that? Now, can I tell you a, a, an Art Laffer joke? I oh. love Art Laffer jokes. It's my oh. favorite area. Is this of a knock knock one? Why? Yeah. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Why? Why is I? Why is Ireland always a great place to invest in? Because there's a low corporate tax rate. Uh, because ready for this? Yeah. yeah. The reason Ireland's a great place to invest in is because. The capital is always Dublin. Oh, oh play. play on that words. Uh, that's I'm pretty good. That so that's pretty good. That is good. Art Laffer is a funny, <laughs> funny guy. There's no question about that. Uh, do you have any Janet Yellen humor for me? Because I, I need, I need something to lighten the mood with oh. Janet Yellen. Well, I. I don't think it's humor. I don't think she intended to be humorous. But Janet Yellen the other day said that uh, that climate change is an existential threat to the planet. And I thought, gee, yes, Janet Yellen is is the world uh, climatology expert. I mean, you know, I mean, Janet Yellen is an economist. She's a good economist. She doesn't know anything about climate change, and she's running around the world saying that this is an existential threat. So every everybody's an expert on that. Uh, on um, weather nowadays. Well, what's the, uh, the, the, the I don't understand her. She was actually a pretty free market, you know, level headed economist. She gets over to the Biden administration. She was reading the scripts that these leftists put out in front of her. You know, we're going to raise taxes for everybody global. By the way, how ridiculous is it for, for the United States to tell these, you know, poor developing countries they have to raise their taxes? Well, well, here, here, the other thing about Janet Yellen, much like the CDC, it's if they're reading from a script, it's difficult to follow the plot because Janet Yellen yesterday uh, uh, w- sort of talked about uh, higher interest rates. And then she said, I'm not talking about higher interest rates. Well, well, which is it? Yeah. Well, by the way, I, you know, the big story right now, look what's happening with commodity prices. I paid $58 to, yeah. uh, to uh, yep, I paid 58 bucks to fill up. I don't know what you guys are paying for gas in Illinois. It went I'm from 42 to 57 yeah, it's just unbelievable. People are, and then just say, there's no inflation. It's your own fellow has got to get out. He's got to go to the grocery store. He's got to go to the gas pump. I mean, he keeps saying there's no inflation. Folks, raise your hand if you're not paying more for gas or food or, you know, what a lumber. You see lumber prices? And, and now products. we can't get enough workers to d- deliver the oil because we're paying everybody to stay unemployed. Folks, we're doing a lot of stupid things in Washington, yet the economy is still doing pretty darn well. When well. is that going to end that extra $600 a week if you're on unemployment? I mean, that's a pretty a good gig. Yeah, six hundred dollars a week for 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 a couple. For a couple it, yeah. It's uh, are you seeing um are you seeing um labor shortages there in Illinois? Because everywhere I go, help wanted, help wanted. We have a we have a sign on our restaurant down the street that says, "Sorry, we're closed. We can't get our workers back." Yeah. Really. Um, we don't have yep. any businesses open in Illinois at so this doesn't... point. So uh, not... and everyone's masked. So. <laughs> There's no. no problem there. I guess you could. Yeah, but I mean, it's happening all over. I mean, you, you, you we are getting back to work, folks. And and the problem is, uh, you know what I call these people sitting on the couch? You know, that won't go back to work. I call them Netflix. You know, uh, the Netflix unemployed. They're they're sitting home watching Netflix. And and you know this this unemployment benefit goes through. I think the beginning of October. So this summer, we're going to have big problems getting people back to work. Well, we're the, good, robots. the good news is uh, Netflix long ago ran out of uh, quality offerings. So, um, you know, that, that, oh, that no, may be some good news. With, um, yeah. They're coming back with another episode, another season of Ozark. Oh, well, yeah, God, yeah, Ozark. That. I'll be. I love that show. I'll yeah, I'll be that. sidelined for that as well. Uh, I'll, yeah. It won't be working. <laughs> uh, Steve Moore, economist, Wall Street Journal columnist, Trumponomics author. Steve, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. All right. Have a great week. By, by the way, I'll see you what, in a couple of weeks out there. Oh yeah, we're, May twentieth. May twentieth. What, what are you, t- what are you, you better, ladies doing? You better bring your A game. Uh, I'm interviewing Steve I, I, Moore for this uh, breakthrough ideas event. Genie Ives' organization. And I'm g- I'm going to bring Amy as my date. Oh, thank you. All right. Then I could get to go to something. <laughs> I won't tell your wife. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. And I won't tell my wife. And he joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. Connect with Dan and Amy using the AM560 mobile app.
Download it today at 560theanswer.com slash mobile. You have faced uncertainty and anxiety, and now your retirement is looming. You might be asking yourself, did I put enough away? Will I have to pay a lot of taxes? Will my spouse be okay if something happens to me? Total Clarity Wealth Management can offer answers and help alleviate your anxieties. With a professional team of financial advisors and CPAs, they can show you the way to financial readiness and keep you on track. Their philosophy is built on solid relationships and trust. With access to expertise in tax planning strategies, 401k rollover services, estate planning, they can help you be ready for anything and give you confidence. Call Total Clarity Wealth Management. Call 630-762-9352. TotalClarityWealth.com. That's TotalClarityWealth.com. Also, if you're a wealth advisor who believes you should be doing the right thing for your client and likes to build relationships, talk to Total Clarity Wealth about joining their team. Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member FINRA SIPC. Investment advice offered through Total Clarity Wealth Management, Inc., a registered investment advisor and separate entity from LPL Financial. Can the daily recommended servings of fruits and vegetables fit into just six capsules? Yes. We start by sourcing organically grown whole fruits and vegetables. We ensure they are picked at peak ripeness. All of our produce is third-party tested for pesticides, heavy metals, bad bacteria, and nutrients. They are then washed, cut, and put through an advanced vacuum cold process, which removes the water using pressure. This maximizes the nutritional value while preserving the color, smell, and taste of the fruit or vegetable. The freeze-dried food is then ground into a fine powder without adding any additives, fillers, or extracts. These powdered foods are then mixed in our proprietary blends and encapsulated, locking out air and moisture. The capsules are then bottled and shipped directly to our customers. Balance of Nature is now offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code CHICAGO. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-555-2085. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes, are overweight, or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-555-2085. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-555-2085. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-555-2085. 800-555-2085. Are you aware that AmericanEagle.com